everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing the fall sweater weather tag and um, I just thought it looked like a fun tag and I haven't done a tag in a while so thought I would join in on this one um, there are 15 questions the first question is your favorite candle scent and so I went ahead and brought mine this is autumn harvest I believe I found this at Target and the sad thing was it's a limited edition soy candle from let's see I'm like who is this by I don't remember but um like I said I found it at Target I've burned it quite a bit but I I've also kind of tried to save it because it is my favorite but like whenever we have company coming over and stuff like that this is definitely the candle that I burn but it just mm, smells so good it smells just like autumn leaves and I just yeah I, I'm like I like it <laughs> Um, question number two, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? And I'm definitely a coffee person. Although the funny thing is at home, I make, I don't actually brew coffee. I make instant coffee, which I know some people would classify as not real coffee. But anyways, my coffee of choice when I'm at home is the Nescafe Taster's Choice. This is the house blend, and this is really, really good. I really like this coffee in it has a nice smell and it tastes, I mean, to me, it tastes just like brewed coffee. So I like that. Um, let's see, uh, best fall memory. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't really have like a specific one with family or, um, I think my favorite thing to do in fall is to take walks, <laughs> which sounds kind of funny, but like, um, I just like, I like going outside and walking in fall and seeing all the colors and that's kind of my little tradition every year. So I go on, I, I, I take a lot of walks in fall more than any other season. So, um, <laughs> says number four, which makeup trend, um, do you prefer dark lips or winged liner? I like wing, winged liner, but I, um, I can't, I can't do it on myself. So I'm going to say. <laughs> The dark lip trend, which I pulled out a few of my favorite dark lippies. Um, this is Color Design and Edgy Sheen from Lancome. This is Daredevil from M Cosmetics. Um, this is Sin from uh, MAC. And this is Pure Heroin from MAC. So there's just a couple. Best fall fragrance, number five. Um, so I picked a high end and a low end. My favorite low end is, um, well, I, I mean, not low end, but just more affordable would be um, Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath and Body Works. And my favorite high end would be Chance um, from Chanel. So this one I've had a while. <laughs> Anyways, um, number six, favorite Thanksgiving food. I really, I mean, traditional Thanksgiving food, I guess my favorite would be like stuffing. I really like the, <laughs> the bread stuffing. But um, the last few years I've been making this cauliflower and garlic dish and it's actually really good. So I like that one too. I don't know. Um, number seven, autumn. What's the autumn weather like where you live? Um, so, d I mean, we definitely get, I would call it a a real autumn you know the leaves change they fall <laughs> off the trees um, it's actually it's normally a lot colder than it is but this particular fall has been um, really warm so like today we had a record high of like 82 for this time of year um, but I mean I would say it's normally closer to like 60s and 70s and sometimes hitting 50s <laughs> um, but this particular fall has been really nice, very warm and cool, um, lots of sunshine and cloud, you know, I mean, we get clouds, but like, it's, the sunshine still comes through, if that makes sense. But what I love most about, like, fall weather here is the smell of fall is just really, like, you can smell that sort of, like, fresh rain scent with the mix of the leaves, and it's just, it's really nice, because we do get a lot of, like, mists, um, especially for the morning. But yeah, <laughs> it's pretty here for fall. Um, number eight, your most worn sweater. So I picked this one because <laughs> um, it is definitely my most worn fall sweater. I love the color. I like how it has this scoop neck. It's the perfect length on me. I can wear this with a pair of leggings and have it be kind of like a tunic dress. 
or I could wear it with like a pair of jeans and then really do the whole sweater out of it. Um, the funny thing is this is actually something I stole from my mom's closet <laughs> when I was a teenager um, and I've had it and loved it ever since. It's yeah it's been my most loved most worn. Uh, this is let's see it says Candy Rain Plus so that's all I know about the sweater like I said I just stole it out of my mom's closet. <laughs> Um, but yeah, number nine, most, uh, must have polished for fall. So I picked, I know a lot of people will probably go with like a burgundy, but I actually picked this OPI color, which is not going to get any justice on camera because it is a very multi like faceted color. There's a lot of, there's a lot to this polish. You can kind of see it. Yeah, you guys can get a good idea, but this is mirror mirror on the wall so m-u-i-r-m-u-i-r -I -I on the wall <laughs> and here is a swatch of it right there so it's not really gonna show up well on camera but i really like this polish and i've been wearing it a lot um on my toes and when i've had my nails done <laughs> i'm not done right now and i apologize um number 10 football game or jump in a leaf pile <laughs> i'm not really a football fan and I was never very good at football, <laughs> but I definitely can jump in a pile of leaves. So we're going to go with jumping in a leaf pile. Plus, that's really fun to do with, like, kids. And I work with kids, and, you know, it's just, yeah, it's fun all around. Um, number 11, skinny jeans or leggings. That's a really hard one for me to pick um, because I really do like a legging and tunic look. or But, I mean, I wear skinny jeans a lot too, especially here when it gets cold. Um, wow. I, I can't, I don't think I could pick one. I mean, I think I prefer leggings, like is in there more comfortable, but I really like the look of a skinny jean. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not going to commit to either one. <laughs> I love them both. Um, number 12, combat boots or Uggs. And in this question, I'm going to say neither. Um, I'm more of a riding boots kind of girl. Um, I will say I prefer combat boots to Uggs, I guess, but like I've personally, I always am wearing like a sort of riding style boot. Um, but I will say this, I do not like Uggs, period. Um, the brand, I don't mind like that style of boot because I know what they're talking about, but Uggs, the brand will never receive a dime of my money. I think they are a horrible company. <laughs> and, um, yeah, no, mm -mm, never. Yeah. They, I just, I don't believe <laughs> whatever. I, this is not like an animal friendly video or whatever. So I'm just gonna, I don't like Uggs. That's it. Anyways, number 13, moving on. <clears throat> is pumpkin spice flavor worth the hype? I'm going to say no. And I know a lot of people, again, are probably going to be like, what? <laughs> but, I mean, I, I can enjoy a good pumpkin spice latte as much as the next person. But, I've never been one to jump on the whole pumpkin bread or pumpkin pancake or pumpkin muffin or bagel or schmear or coffee creamer or whatever. I mean, I enjoy every once in a while a pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. But I'm not a huge fan of, like, pumpkin um, my favorite dish to put pumpkin in is actually couscous soup. So if you want to talk about pumpkin, I like putting pumpkin in that. <laughs> um, number 14, favorite fall TV show. I'm going to go ahead and list two. I am really enjoying The Walking Dead, which just came back on and I'm really excited. Um, and I'm also enjoying this new TV show, which is in its first season called How to Get Away with Murder. And it's awesome. It's like the perfect show for me. I am not a horror film girl because I just, I get nightmares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't laugh at me. Anyways, um, but I, I really enjoy like suspenseful thrillers and like psychological twists and turn. I mean, I, I really enjoy like the psychology behind something to get me afraid um, rather than like blood and guts and gore. <laughs> so this is kind of like that perfect fall sort of like thriller drama for me. It works. Anyways, 
it's good. If you haven't checked it out, try it. Number 15, what song really gets you in the fall spirit? I, I really can't come up with like a specific song. Um, I'm, I, I more have, I guess, like a type of music. I really enjoy like jazz and old school, like 50s and 60s music, like artists like, um, gosh, I get Etta James. Um, I can't even think of everybody right now. Uh, Louis Armstrong, Frank Sinatra. I, I like oldies <laughs> in fall. I, it's not necessarily one song, but I just kind of like that la, da, 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 kind of music, you know, stuff that just kind of carries you away or whatever that old yeah blues and jazz whatever <laughs> anyways this video has gotten to be really long so I hope that you enjoy this tag and if you do it please let me know so that I can go and watch it see you in my next video bye